Hello, my dear friends. Today we're talking about huge benefits from baby steps. Baby steps mean that you're taking little steps. You're not going into a situation where you're going to work for hours to get something accomplished. You're going to do baby steps. I know that in the beginning of the Fly Lady system, the baby steps we taught were things like cleaning your sink, you know, just to get yourself going. I know a lot of you are impatient, and so I don't teach that anymore, but I'm still teaching you how to do your home in baby steps. The biggest baby step we take is our first baby step, and that's your routines. But those routines are made up of little steps, little baby steps. So your routines would include your morning routine, your after dinner routine, your before bed routine, your laundry routine, your paper clutter routine, your clutter stops. All those are routines. So you build one on the other on the other, depending on your capability and your time and your um, and your um, mindset. There's just so many ways that you can influence what you can or can't do. So do your routines first. That is your biggest baby step. The next baby step is going to be your basic weekly plan. It again is broken into baby steps. You only do something on Monday, something on Tuesday, something on Wednesday, etc. So on Monday you do your weekly home blessing hour. That is an hour cleaning your whole house and little 10 minute baby steps. 10 minute baby steps, the weekly home blessing hour and only do that for your basic weekly home bless for your um, basic weekly plan on Monday. On Tuesday, this is for at-home homemakers. For Tuesday, you're going to have a free day. For business people, for Patreon, um, sorry, for payroll homemakers, you're going to do your weekly home blessing hour on Saturday morning. You don't get a free day because you're working and you have to get you have to take your breaks and your lunches and consider those your free day and your travel time if you're traveling. Put those all together, it makes a free day. On Wednesday for at-home homemakers, we do our planning and desk day. Planning and desk day is step is broken into four baby steps: your finances, your food, your inbox, and your planner. Four little baby steps. If you are a payroll homemaker, your weekly your basic weekly plan for payroll for um, for planning and desk day, sorry, is on Sunday afternoons when it's quiet, and you and you break that down. It's thirty minute four thirty minute break, baby steps. That makes up your planning and desk day. On Thursday, at-home homemakers run their errands. Maybe have their go pick up their groceries or have their groceries delivered. You might not have any errands that week. Or maybe you're having to stay home because of various things that have happened where you must stay home for this time. So those four babies, uh, that baby step is breaking that into baby steps. So if you are going to run errands, you want to make sure that you look to see where you're going and think about that circuit in your brain and say, well, I've got to go to four different places. Where's the grocery store? I want to go there last. If it's in the middle, then make sure you put something in the car, like some um, some uh, insulated containers so you can put your cold meats in there, maybe your hot foods if you're buying any, uh, in two different containers so that you can get those home and they'll still be cold. Um, but maybe you have to stop by a store for your husband and maybe you need to make a return somewhere and then there you have your groceries and then the last place maybe you need to drop something off at the library and then come home. You want to follow that circle, that cycle, that route, that route, however you want to say it. Um, for those of you who are payroll homemakers, you're going to do your uh, running around like that on your lunch hour. A lot of times that's when I did those kinds of things. I didn't do grocery shopping then. I would save my grocery shopping till Saturdays, but that was before you could order your groceries, which is just a huge boon for payroll homemakers. So maybe you can arrange to pick your groceries up on the way from work, on the way home, or you can delegate that to your spouse on Saturday to go pick it up, or you can have it delivered. Okay, that's Thursday. Friday is car and purse day. So that's a teeny little step. It's your car and your purse. You're just going into your car and taking out the things that don't belong in there, putting them in a bag, taking them in the house. Either you're going to throw them away, put them away, or give them away, but you're going to handle that. You're not just going to put that bag in the corner and say, I'll get to that later. I'm super busy. I got to go to the bathroom and feed the dog and talk to the kids and do the home. Nope. 
Nope. <laughs> you have to plan that at, at home homemakers in the part of the day where you can take care of it. It's not very long, especially if you do it every week. So I'm not asking you to Windex your windows or vacuum the car or take it to get washed or wash it yourself. That's not what this is about. If you want to have your car washed later, that's fine. Maybe you can do that on your errand day. This is a day when you're just cleaning out the things that don't belong in the car, maybe shaking the mats. Okay, so it's little steps. And then your purse is the same way. Just dump it out. I just dump everything out. And then, or if I if my purse has been cleaned regularly, which it is now, I just go to the zipper compartment or the main part or the pocket, wherever it is, and I know where the equivalent place for that is in my other purse, and I would put it in there directly and then make sure there's no gum wrappers or dirty Kleenex or whatever in there. Old old uh, tickets, receipts. Okay, if you're payroll, you can do this in your lap at your at your break table, or you can do it in your office. You can totally get that done on a break, okay? Your car, you can get done on your other break, or you can run out and do that on your lunch hour. I always kept some Walmart bags in my drawer at work so I could do that. And then what you're going to keep, you're going to leave on the front seat so when you get home, you can take it home. If you have garbage, throw it away. If you have a giveaway, put it in another bag, and on your way home, drop it at the Goodwill, okay? All right, you won't have so much giveaway as you will have put away and throw away. All right, Saturday, uh oh, so for... So we handled that for payroll and at home. So if you are um, getting to Saturday, now what you're going to do for payroll, you're going to do what I've just told you before. You're gonna spend an hour doing your weekly home blessing hour, and you're gonna spend an hour doing your zone. Okay, we're gonna to get to zone in a minute. Um, and then it's your family fun day. So you're just gonna have fun that day. If you're at home homemaker, you're just gonna have fun that day. You're not gonna do any routines, any zones, any basic weekly plan. Well, I lie. You are going to do routines. You're not going to do the routine of laundry on this day, okay? You're still going to do clutter checks or clutter stops. You're still going to do lawn, um, morning routine, after dinner routine, before bed routine, etc. You're just not going to be doing laundry or any other things on Saturday or Sunday. And Sunday, if for everybody, is renew your spirit. So the other baby step, the third step, remember I said, We've got routines, we've got basic weekly plan. The third big step, which is a baby step if you put it all together, consists of little steps and it's your zone. And that's just four 15 minute units. Those are baby steps to decluttering your home. It's going to make a huge difference. This little thing right here, this little 15 minutes, this tiny little baby step is going to make a huge difference in your house. All of it will, but this is what is going to transform your house. The other will get your house tidy, will make you feel good about yourself, will get you taken care of, will get the family fed, those kinds of things. But this, this right here, the zones, is what's going to transform your home from a clutter bomb to an organized, efficient machine, okay? So it's your zone. So whatever zone we're in, you're going to do that zone work, zone one, two, three, four, and five. You're going to do that work that week. So if you're in zone three, you're going to be working in the bathroom and or one other room for a total for the day of 15 minutes, period. You're going to throw away your trash. You're going to give away your things that you don't want, need, or love anymore or don't have room for. Sometimes you just don't have room for it. You want it, you love it, or you think you need it. But then when you prioritize all the things you have in your house and the amount of space you have, you might not really need that. And you might love it, but you really love keeping warm because you have enough jackets in your, in your um, closet. So this boa that you don't use for anything, but you love it, needs to go. Okay? That's a weird example, but I think you get the point. Um, so four 15 minute units of that. So you're going to plant your feet. You're going to turn on your timer. You're going to make sure you go to the bathroom first. You've got a drink of water. You're ready to go. You're not hungry. The kids are settled and you're going to work for 15 straight minutes in your zone. Throw, have three containers, a box, a bag, and a basket. Basket for put away, bag for throw away, and box for giveaway. When the timer goes off, you're stopping. You're, you're appreciating what you've done so far. And you're going to complete the process by taking the garbage outside, taking the giveaway to the back of the car, and taking the basket and putting those things where they go because they don't go here, apparently. Okay? Those are the baby steps that are going to make a huge difference in your life. For payroll homemakers, you're not going to be splitting your four day, your um, zone into four 15-minute days, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 
2z is a free day for at home. You're going to take those four units and squeeze them together into one hour, and you're gonna work for one hour. It could still be 15 minutes in one particular spot, and then maybe you're bored with that and you wanna to move to another spot and you plan it out because you know how you think, or you need to stay in that one spot and do it till you're done, one hour. You can't keep going. You have a family waiting to have fun. So you're gonna work that on Saturday. These are the baby steps that will really change your life. Now, one other thing that will really help your life stay changed is that routine called clutter stop, okay? So do these things. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please watch my video, How to Do the Fly Lady System for Newbies. It may have a new name. It's the first video on my homepage. Go watch that video. It takes about an hour if you stop the video like I ask you to and take notes, but you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a fabulous day, and I hope that you always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful.